okay now we are going to solve practice problem 7.6 from Sariku so express the current pulse in the figure of 7.33 so this is the figure in terms of the unit step okay let me remind you that a unit step function is this one ut with the value of it is 0 before t is equal to 0 and 1 after t is 0 so it is defined as ut is equal to t no not t 0 when t is less than 0 and 1 when t is greater than or equal to 1 okay so this is the definition of ut and we need to express this this plot here in terms of ut so okay let's start that i will draw a, a cartesian coordinate with blank one and i will explain it to you okay now we have blank cartesian coordinates with time as the x-axis and it as the y-axis so here we have this tick as 10 ampere and this one is minus 10 okay let's now write the function that we want which is it and first we need to take a look at t is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 so the value when t is equal to 0 is 10 so that is the first magnitude that we have so i will have 10 10 is the amplitude and then we multiply it by ut okay okay so i will now visualize this function first so we will have this function is like this so when t is less than zero the value is zero and after t is equal to zero the value will be 10 because we multiplied the ut by 10 so it goes all the way like there until infinity okay so now we need to take a look at t is equal to 2 so we need to take a look at this tick here at t is equal to 2 we want the value of the function into minus 10 but now here we have 10 so we need to subtract some value from it 10 subtracted by what value is equal to minus 10 and that value will be minus 20 right because 10 minus 20 will be minus 10 and then we multiply it by the unit step function and the offset will be the tick here which is 2 so i will have t minus 2 okay so this is at time t is equal to 2 and if we sketch this our plot becomes like this and the value will be minus 10 up until infinity goes all the way and then we will continue to solve this problem okay now we have to take a look at t is equal to 4 now at t is equal to 4 we need the value to be 0 here until infinity so we have this value is 0 until infinity but here we have minus 10 so we need to add some value to get the 0 here so minus 20 minus 10 plus some value will be 0 and that value will be 10 so I will have plus 10 and then we multiply it by a unit step function and the offset will be the time offset will be 4 so I will have t minus 4 so now let's redraw this function which is this function will be get like this and the value will be 
0 up until infinity. And this is exactly what the problem wants. So I will have this function here. And so this is the, the solution of the first question. Okay. And then the second question is find its integral. So I will assume that its integral is not a uh, indefinite integral. So because we will dealing with some nasty constants. So I will define the integrals as our capital I of t is integral from minus infinity until t of this i t. Okay. And with respect to time. So we will have this integral here and this integral is visualized as the area under the curve so for example if we plug t is equal to 1 the value will be an area here here up until t so t is equal to 1 that is the example but we but we do not need to do that so let's find out the capital i t okay now for finding integrals it is easier to put this as piecewise function instead of unit step function so we'll have i t is equal to this one 10 when t is between 0 and 2 and then we will have not 20 minus 10 when our t is between 2 and 4 and one more is 0 for others okay so this is our it and we need to find out the integral of this one okay our whiteboard is full so let's erase this okay so far we have this it here which is this plot rip, uh, expressed as the unit step functions and this is the same functions but expressed as the piecewise function and here we are asked to find the integral which is defined as this one so to find the integral it is easier to define it as piecewise function Okay, now let's see at the first case, which is this case here. So when 0 is less than t and t is less than 2. So t is between 0 and 2. So we will have it is equal to 10, right? And then we have i0 because no capital i0 capital i0 is here we have the area under the curve up until 0 so from negative infinity to 0 because all the value is 0 so i0 will be 0 so we need to find the integral of this and this is the initial condition so we'll have integral of i t dt will be the integral of 10 dt so i will have 10 t plus first constant okay now this is our i capital i t so this is our capital i t for the first case but remember that i0 is 0 so we can find the init from the initial value of this one to find c1 so i will have i0 here is equal to 0 so this is when we plug 0 to this function which is 10 multiplied by 0 plus c1 is equal to 0 
and this one will be 0 plus c1 is equal to 0 so i will have c1 is equal to 0 so in this case we will have it is equal to 10t plus 0 so we can just write 10t okay so this is when 0 is less than t and t is less than 2 so let's write it here this is the first case so we'll have 10 t when our t is between 0 and 2 okay okay now we need to take a look at the second case here so we'll have minus 10 when t is between 2 and 4 so we need to take a look at t between t 2 and 4 okay so here i will have i t is equal to minus 10 in this case okay so the integral of it will be integral minus 10 dt and this will be minus 10 t plus second constant okay and now we need to find the initial condition of this uh, from this one so when t is equal to 2 the value of i capital i will be will be i2 will be 10 multiplied by 2 which is 20 okay it is from the first case and now we will have this one so this is when 2 is plugged into this function so i will have 10 multiplied by 2 plus c2 is equal to 20 and so i will have minus 20 plus c2 is equal to 20 so i'll have c2 is equal to 40 so our functions here become i capital i t is equal to minus 10 t plus 40 okay so i will have minus 10 t plus 40 so this is when t is between 2 and 4 okay we need to find out the third case so in the third case so i will take a look only at when t is greater than 4 why because when t is less than 0 the value will be all 0 okay now when t is greater than 4 our small i is 0 and then we have i when t is 4 what is when i is 4 it is this one right so minus 10 multiplied by 4 this minus 40 minus 40 plus 40 which is 0 so our capital i here will be integral of 0 dt which is 0 plus some constant okay and this will be some constant okay now because we have this is i4 and i4 is just some constant so we can just plug c3 here and that will equal to zero so our c3 is zero so i will have capital i t will be zero in this case so we'll have zero on all other case okay so now the last thing that we should do is to sketch this function okay so now i have a blank cartesian coordinate here the x-axis is t and the y-axis is capital i t and we have different ticks than this one so this is minus 20 and 20 we can see why uh, in this case so 
here when t is less than 0. So when t is less than 0, the value will be 0. Right? So I don't need to write that. And then when t is between 0 and 2, the value will be 10t. Okay? So when t is equal to 0, when t is equal to 0, the value will be 0. And then when t is equal to 2, the value will be my 20. So I will have 2 dot here. And this is a linear function, so it is just a line. So we can just connect this line here. And then the second case, when t is between 2 and 4. So when t is equal to 2, the value of this will be minus 10 multiplied by 2 plus 40 and that will be 40 minus 20 which is 20 so this is the value when t is equal to 2 and then when t is equal to 4 the value will be minus 10 multiplied by 4 plus 40 so we'll have this here this point here and this is another line so we can just connect the dot And for the others, the value is just 0. Okay, 0. And this is our sketch of the integral. So, we have solved this problem. Hopefully, this will help you to solve this problem. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.